If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. To access the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box in Photoshop, click the Open Preferences dialog button towards the upper right corner of the Camera Raw dialog box to open it. The Camera Raw Preference categories appear as buttons at the left side of the dialog box, which you can click to specify their individual settings at the right side of the window. To set the general Camera Raw Preferences, click the General button at the left side of the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box. To set the color theme of the Camera Raw dialog box, select a choice from the Color Theme dropdown in the Appearance section to the right. To change the behavior of the Edit Panels in the Camera Raw dialog box, select a choice from the Edit Panel Behavior dropdown in the Panels section. How your selected choice impacts the panel's behavior appears in a label below the dropdown. To use a compact layout of the sliders and settings in the Edit panel, check the Use Compact Layout checkbox. If checked, this forces the setting name and slider onto the same line and shortens their names to save vertical space. To show rich tooltips for the buttons in the Camera Raw dialog box's toolbar when you hover over them, check the Show Rich Tooltips checkbox. If unchecked, the buttons simply show their names in basic tooltips. For users who prefer using the older Legacy Target Adjustment Tool, you can check the Use Legacy Target Adjustment Tool checkbox to enable it. If opening multiple Camera Raw files at once in the Camera Raw dialog box, the files appear in a film strip at the side or bottom of the preview area. You can then click a picture in the film strip to select it and edit it in the preview area. The settings in the film strip section determine the appearance of the film strip. Use the orientation dropdown to select whether you want a horizontal or vertical film strip. To show file names in the film strip, check the Show File Names checkbox. To show ratings and color labels, Check the Show Ratings and Color Labels checkbox. You can uncheck either checkbox to hide them instead. To show buttons for the pop-up contextual menu and the Save Options dialog box as an overlay that appears in the upper right corner of the thumbnails in the film strip when you hover over them, check the Show Contextual Menu hints on Hover checkbox. Unchecking this checkbox turns them off. To change the default magnification level used to zoom in on Camera Raw images, select the desired percentage from the Default Image Click Zooms To dropdown in the Zoom and Pan section. To enable a Lightroom Style Zoom and Pan, check the Use Lightroom Style Zoom and Pan checkbox. If enabled, then you can click and hold down the mouse button to zoom in on a preview image and also automatically activate the Hand tool so you then drag to pan as needed. Then release the mouse button and click again to zoom out. Enabling this setting also removes the Zoom Tool and Hand Tool from the toolbar at the right side of the Camera Raw dialog box. Unchecking the checkbox uses the default zoom and pan of the Camera Raw dialog box. In the Keyboard Shortcuts section, you can check or uncheck the Use Legacy Undo Shortcuts checkbox to enable or disable the Legacy Undo Shortcuts. To set the default file handling preferences in the Camera Raw dialog box, click the File Handling button at the left side of the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box to show its settings to the right. In the DNG File Handling section, Use the Sidecars dropdown to choose how to handle Camera Raw sidecar data with DNG files. Your choices are Embed XMP in DNG, Always Use Sidecar XMP Files, or Ignore Sidecar XMP Files. To update embedded JPEG previews in DNG files if desired, check the Update Embedded JPEG Previews checkbox. Then use the Adjacent dropdown to select the desired preview size. 
to set how to handle JPEG and TIFF files in the Camera Raw dialog box if you choose to open those files in Camera Raw by using Adobe Bridge, select your desired choice from the JPEG and TIFF dropdowns in the JPEG and TIFF handling section. To change the Camera Raw graphics performance and Camera Raw cache settings, Click the Performance button at the left side of the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box to show its settings to the right. In the Performance section, you can set the Graphics Processor Performance settings. To set the Graphics Performance setting for supported graphics processors, select a choice from the Use Graphics Processor dropdown. If you select the Custom choice, then you can check the checkboxes that appear below the dropdown to select for which Camera Raw tasks to use the GPU. To set the maximum size in gigabytes for the Camera Raw cache, enter the desired limit value into the Maximum Size field in the Camera Raw cache section. To purge the Camera Raw cache in Photoshop, click the adjacent Purge Cache button. To change the Camera Raw cache location if desired, click the Select Location button, navigate into the selected folder in the Select Cache Folder dialog box that opens, and then click the Select button in the Select Cache Folder dialog box. To change the Camera Raw default settings applied to photos opened in Camera Raw, click the Raw Defaults button at the left side of the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box to show its settings to the right. You can set the default Camera Raw settings to apply to raw images by selecting either Adobe Default, Camera Settings, or one of the available Camera Raw presets from the Global dropdown. To override the Global Camera Raw default settings for specific camera models, check the Override Global Settings for Specific Cameras checkbox. Then select the name of the camera for which to create an override from the Available Cameras dropdown. To show serial numbers for the cameras in the drop down menu, check the Show Serial Numbers checkbox. For the selected camera, then use the Adjacent drop down to select the desired default or preset to apply. Then click the Create Default button to add the camera's default settings to the list below. To edit or delete a preset in this list, click the three dot button at its right end. In the menu that appears, then select a different default or preset to apply to edit it, or select the Delete Default command to delete it. To change the default workflow settings in Camera Raw, click the Workflow button at the left side of the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box to show its settings in the Color Space, Image Sizing, Output Sharpening, and Photoshop sections to the right. If you have a saved workflow preset to apply, select it from the preset dropdown. To specify a default color space profile in Camera Raw, use the Space dropdown in the Color Space section. To set the bit depth, use the Depth dropdown. If needed to specify the default intent for a selected color space, use the Intent dropdown. To simulate paper and ink if needed for your color space profile, check the Simulate Paper and Ink checkbox. To resize files by default, check the Resize to Fit checkbox in the Image Sizing section. Then use the Adjacent dropdown to select the desired resizing method. Then fill in the values for the selected resizing method which appear below the dropdown. To prevent enlarging the file when resizing, check the Don't Enlarge checkbox. To set the default image resolution, type a value into the Resolution field, and then use the Adjacent dropdown to specify the value as either pixels per inch or per centimeter. To sharpen files based on their output destination by default, check the Sharpen For checkbox and then select the final output destination from the Adjacent dropdown. Then use the Amount dropdown to set the amount of output sharpening to apply. To open files in Photoshop as Smart Objects by default, check the Open in Photoshop as Smart Object checkbox in the Photoshop section.
After specifying the default camera raw workflow settings you want, to then save the settings as a new workflow preset, select the New Workflow Preset command from the preset dropdown at the top of the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box to open the New Workflow Preset dialog box. Type a name for the workflow preset into the name field in this dialog box, and then click the OK button. In the future, you can then select the name of this preset from the preset dropdown in the workflow section of the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box to instantly apply the saved workflow default settings. To enable HDR output in the Camera Raw dialog box of Photoshop if using compatible hardware, which also enables the JPEG XL and AVIF file formats, click the Technology Previews button at the left side of the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box. Then check the HDR output checkbox in the Technology Previews section to the right. Note that this is a preview feature in Photoshop, which means it is still under development and not yet finalized, so you can expect changes if you enable it. To apply any changed settings in the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box, click the OK button in the upper right corner of the dialog box. Alternatively, to close the dialog box and cancel your changes, click the Cancel button instead. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.